When we talk about being an entrepreneur or just owning an agency, whether you're a freelancer, social media manager, virtual assistant, whatever it is, there's a few things that really make you successful. And one of those things is being organized in your business. I'm gonna let you know right now, I am a neat freak when it comes to my business. I don't like things all over the place. I just need like, I just need some structure, okay? So one of those things that you wanna structure inside of your agency is gonna be client files. I don't wanna see stuff all over the place. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I structure client content right inside of Google Drive. If you're new here, I'm Erica, your social media management coach, your biggest cheerleader and the owner of the Agency Edit, an accelerator that helps you launch and scale your own profitable agency. So make sure you subscribe because we have more of these videos coming. Now, let's jump right on into it, shall we? Jumping in real quick to tell you, we're doing this at the computer, so meet me over there. All right, guys, so if you're new to Google, you don't have a Google account, you can sign up for one, it is free to do. Uh, but if you do have one, or once you get one, you're gonna go to google.com backslash drive and make sure that you have your Google Drive set up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log into mine. If you wanna set yours up along with me, I want you to go ahead and pause this video, get your Google Drive ready because we got some folders to go through. So let me go ahead and sign in. So the first thing that you want to do is create a Google Drive for your agency. And as you can see, we are once again using Social Street Agency. If you caught my video on how to create a portfolio, then you are familiar with Social Street Agency. So we're going to click in on that. Once you go into your agency folder, you want to have a separate folder for every single one of your clients where all their information is housed. So if you want to create a new folder, all you have to do is right click and then we can put in client three, whatever that client may be. But I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one for now. So let's say we wanna set up the folder for Lux event planning. I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. And this is where things get real pretty, real just fleshed out for your agency. So the first folder you see is gonna be assets. Inside of assets is where I usually keep everything that the client gives me. So in this case, we have logos, we have brand photos, and fonts. You may also have a document where they give you their branding colors, anything like that, you're gonna keep right in here. So if I click inside of logos, these are just simply PNG files, but you may have Photoshop files, you may have InDesign files. All of this is gonna go inside of this folder. Next, we have brand photos. So I like to organize these by the type of photo shoot that it was or when they did it. So they may have a website photo shoot, something like that. Um, but if you click in, this is where all those photos are housed and you can easily come in here and get this content when you need it. Another great thing about having this inside of Google Drive is that all you have to do is share this link with your client and they can go in and add their own content in here and then just message you when they're done. So to do that, all I have to do is click up here. So I may have to change a few permissions, but all I have to do is send them this link and they can easily put the own, their own content in here without me having to do it for them. All right, and then with fonts, if your client has any unique fonts or maybe something if they've purchased somewhere else, they can drop those files right in here for you. Let's move out of assets and move into the next thing, which is deliverables. Now deliverables are gonna be the month to month, week to week content that you give to clients. Here's the thing. You do not have to house this stuff in here, your deliverables, which is the content, right? You can do this inside of your scheduling platform. So if you're using Planoly later, Iconosquare, you can do it there. But I like to keep backups of all the stuff that I create, especially the graphics that I might have or any photos that may be being posted. I like to keep all of those things. So let's look at an example of that. So for the month of March, you see I also have it by week, right? Because I'm, I'm organized, I'm not playing here, I'm, I'm keeping this stuff really, really organized. So inside of week one, I may have the photos that I'm gonna be using. And another thing you can have in here, uh, I teach my students how to do this inside of the Agency Edit Accelerator, but I show them how to deliver content from Google Drive if they don't wanna use something like Airtable or ClickUp or the actual scheduling platform. But you may have a Google document in here with all your captions and everything like that. But at any rate, at least you have all the images that you posted right here so you can always reference them if you want to. So let's move back out of this one. And again, you're gonna do this for every single month. You're gonna have this completely set up. So the next thing that we have is going to be your monthly strategies. 
Now for monthly strategies, I do not actually create those separate folders like I do in the other spaces because I'm putting these on just simple Google Docs. Now, depending on how you deliver your strategy, if you have PDF documents that you're using to deliver your monthly strategies, you can create those individual folders again, but because these aren't like, so there's not so much content going into them, I don't really need individual folders like I do for the other content. So that's it. That's all that goes in here is the monthly strategy that for every single month for that client. The fourth thing that I put in here is going to be my monthly reports. Now, we're back to the folders. You may be wondering, why are we using folders in here? The reason why I use folders is because when I'm creating my monthly reports, I need screenshots, right? Because we're using screenshots inside of our reports, but we're also using those screenshots for case studies. So I want to be able to easily come back to that content. So let's click inside of here. And I'm going to set this up kind of how I would have this look for my reports. So I may put in um, my report document, but another thing that I'm going to put in is my screenshots. So I'm going to do March screenshots. And then all I'm going to do right here is drag in those before and after photos. And you can even get deeper if you want to. Like, let's say one of your goals was to increase reach. Well, I'm going to put all my reach screenshots here. And all this means is when I go in to grab my screenshots for the month of March and I'm tracking the reach, I'm going to throw all these screenshots for reach in here that shows what we were able to do over that month. The same thing if I wanted to do impressions. Remember, we are really trying to remain organized inside of our agency. So that's why we're creating all these nice, neat little folders. If we want to put our end of the month report in here, we can do that too. Whether it is a document, like a PDF document, we just drag it and drop it in there. If we want to create it into a, from a Google Doc, however you want to do it, you can just drop it right in here. So let's move on out of here. And the last thing we have in here is onboarding documents. So you'll notice I have in here IG screenshots and then paperwork. Your Instagram screenshots, whenever you onboard a new client, because remember, we think about case studies, we have to think about being able to show the client what we've been able to do. You need to be taking initial screenshots of everything about that account. So if it's Twitter, what do their tweets look like? What does their followers count looks like? You want to go in and take a bunch of screenshots, even if you aren't sure if you're going to use it, screenshot it anyway because you just don't know and you're going to house all of that in here so if maybe we're going to be using um like i said twitter or tiktok let's do tiktok i'm going to put one in here and i'm going to call it uh tiktok screenshots you can call it tiktok onboarding screenshots whatever you want but when you go in here you're just going to simply drop all of these in here and if you didn't know you can use google drive from your cell phone too next thing we have is paperwork your paperwork is going to be all the things that you use to onboard your client. So it can be your signed and completed contracts. If you have any onboarding questionnaires, your discovery call questionnaire, your kickoff call questionnaire, all those things that you need to have, you can house these all inside of here. So if you're using a platform like I used Upsado to deliver all these type of things to my clients, it's housed there too. But I just want a backup system to have all of my paperwork, again, in one place with that client, with my agency. And like I said, this is house in Dubsado, but the backup. I just need the backup, the peace of mind, okay? So, so this is how I organize all of my client content. Y'all, you can get deeper than this. You can be more surface level if you want to. Any ideas that you may have, things that you want to add on, please feel free to do this. And there are several ways that you can do this. There's several platforms, but when you're just starting out, this is such a great way to get yourself organized. And like I said, I've been in the game for a minute and I still use this just as a backup system. So I hope this helped. If it did, please make sure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're gonna try this out or if you set it up. And until next time, 